Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the MNVL stream. I am your host, Skepter, and it is a marvelous Tuesday afternoon here. And joining me on the broadcast, one of our brand new interns, Clay May. Welcome to the cast, my friend. Excited to have you. Yeah, for sure, Skep. So as he said, it's my first time here, brand new caster. Uh, right now, I'm a junior at EHS. Uh, that's Egan. We're pretty good at Rocket League, you might know Flo. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to start here, Kevin. Awesome. Well, we are definitely excited to have you on the team. Uh, everything going swiftly so far, and we got some League of Legends on the cards for tonight, folks. An action-packed best of three series going down between Albert Lee and I believe Roseville was our second yeah, team. Yeah, Roseville. So we're, we're good on that. Roseville taking on, I mean, dude, and some returning players from this Roseville squad, Clay May, we, I want to recognize Mr. Chair off the rip because this player Absolutely. has been nutso every time they step on, doesn't matter if it's Smite, League of Legends, Minecraft. I mean, I think we've seen Mr. Chair on a multitude of games and they always step up to the plate, ready to play. Sure. He is a jack of all trades. Playing a lot. Here. An elite gamer. An elite gamer. I mean, you said it yourself. You were checking the ranks uh, pre-game. What is Mr. Chair currently sitting at in his solo queue, if you saw? Oh, I, I didn't rank, but I did see oh. in uh, previous week, uh, preseason against SJP, first game, 48% of team damage. Second game, okay. you're looking here. That's just huge. So 41 in the yeah. second. And then uh, Dang. he had seven. So clearly a very carry-oriented player, even if he's playing a control mage like Victor Orion. For sure. Yeah, no, Mr. Chair, known for the Oriana play that we've seen throughout uh, his tenure of time in the league. Notoriously, okay, I know we're talking about him a lot, but I just, I got a lot of info on Mr. Chair. Was a master's level Warwick flash barrier player. I literally, it's all coming back to me right now. I'm remembering <laughs> what looking now? at his OPGG. That's... Yeah, so played Warwick top lane, but would run flash and barrier and grasp for the undying unkillable in the top lane. We haven't seen the Warwick because every team that plays against Roseville bans Warwick, but he plays mid lane anyway, and he plays control mages. So it's like, He's shown us levels to his gameplay, but just because of the threat of how much Warwick the dude has played, it just gets banned against their team. So you got to respect it. I mean, it's one of the higher ranked players in uh, in the league, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely a player to watch for uh, on the side of Roseville. However, looking across the table for the side of Albert Lee, it's the unknown factor coming into the game tonight, right? Not as much stream presence in the past. So Definitely more of a known factor in what Roseville is bringing to the table. Haywolf, another player that we see coming back onto this roster. I believe the jungler of that squad. So Albert Lee, is. if they wanted to do their research, definitely could have gone back and looked at some of the streams of this team's past. Granted, it's a new season and teams can switch up how they are looking to play the game. But I know one thing's for certain, it is going to be an action-packed best of three and excited to have it be a complete best of three series now. Last season only being the two games, yeah. sometimes we have a tie break, you know, and it goes 1-1 one, one draw. But now getting down to the nitty-gritty, going all the way to a map number three if we need to do it. I mean, that's exactly what we are coming here for as League of Legends fans. Nothing is better than game in series on the line, Clay May. I mean, talk about it a little bit, right? Like coming down to a Definitely, final game, yeah. it's where the best plays come out, it seems. For sure, yeah. Season starts now. You got to gotta make it count while it lasts. So every game here yeah. matters. For sure. And I mean, I mean, we talk about it all the time. Uh, it only gets more and more serious as the season goes on. But all of our teams, a major opportunity to compete at a grand state finals hosted on a land setting where you get to play against the opposition just a, a few feet away from you. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's awesome. Parents, friends and family all gathered to watch you compete at the highest level that uh I, frankly, the United States high school esports scene has to offer MNVL uh, top by far. So right now, I mean, this is the premier league to be playing in. So, you know, a blessing for all of uh, our local Minnesotan players competing for an MNVL title. Yep. We're all searching for that glory just to be the one standing above the rest this season. 
for sure. And I mean, the, the cool thing about MNVL leagues is every season that goes by, it feels like the league develops and takes another step ahead of itself. The, the teams always increase more and more schools, more and more uh, combatants from their school, right? Every season, more and more kids hearing about the club coming in, right? Joining the squad. And it, it really, you can see how quickly teams can improve from season to season. It's one of my favorite things that I've seen through casting for MNVL so far is just how much teams can grow in the span of their four year playing career, right? Because some teams, you know, some kids coming up and playing a little bit early from that middle school age, but not a lot of them, right? It's mainly that four year window that you have to compete for an MNBL title. And it really is uh, the start of all of these young players, esports journeys. And it's a, a pleasure to watch. For sure. Yeah. It's also great to just start of a, a community that really uh, has the same values as you and works with you and the same things as you. And it also it's just competitive setting. So if people like competition, then they they have that and they can do that through an expression that's also fun because people like to play games. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Couldn't have said it better. I want to give a quick shout out to our six premier collegiate esports sponsors here at MNBL this season. If you want to see more info, they are located below. I mean, underneath our giant floating heads. If you can find it, six amazing schools representing, uh, you know, your next steps in not only education but continuing a path in esports. So make sure you check out all of those schools all having awesome opportunities for uh, our young scholars out there. So, you know, really cool to have those colleges supporting MNBL, you know, helping us do what we yeah. come here to do. So pro draft yeah. in process right now, folks at home, uh, not everybody owns every champion. I mean, there's a ridiculous number. I'd have to guess it's between 160 it's like and like 200 something. Like it's, yeah, it's a, a lot, a lot of people that you can select to play as. So all of your kids pick in different champions who they're going to be representing themselves on the server with, whatever their team comp is built up to, right? So plenty of options here coming down. But it takes a lot of time to kind of unlock these characters with in-game uh, credits and yeah. currency. So we are drafting through an online tool that allows every player to have every champion, and you can kind of pick at any time. Because if you don't own everyone, uh, frankly, you can't lock in a lot of the people that your team needs. Like you can trade back and forth during the champion select process, which we will see momentarily. But uh, basically just everybody's on level playing field is what it allows. People that are newer to the game who didn't have time to kind of buy and work their way up and get champions unlocked uh, versus somebody who's been playing for a few years would be quite a stark difference in uh, power and an arsenal that they bring into the map of Summoner's Rift. But, you know, we'll, we'll see that in just a few moments when we load into champion select. For sure. I myself don't even own all of them. I, I own junglers. That's what I play, but I don't need to own them all. I'm never going to play them yeah. all, probably. For sure. I mean, it takes time, dude. I think... I feel like I've played at least, you know, an ARAM or a, a custom lobby, yeah, you know, yeah, whether yeah. it's one of the fake yeah, game but... modes on every champion, but definitely don't <laughs> actually play every champion. You'd be you'd be doing nothing but playing League of Legends if you played every champion. Like, come on now. It, yeah. it is crazy how many champions are in the game, dude. Like, if you had to ask me to list the most recent 10 champs to come out, I could probably hit five. And that's me being generous to myself because I don't want to sound like I don't know what's going on, you know? But, I mean, Briar yeah, is yeah. the newest one. Briar. So, you know, that's easy. Nefiri. Uh, Nefiri, okay, the dog. Uh, yep, I remember that. Melio. Who, uh, yeah, Melio, okay, you're Melio's doing good. good. I like this. Uh, Cassante was Melio. after that. Cassante? Then... What about Nyla, right? She's after Cassante? I, not, was it Belveth then or was it Nila? Oh, Belveth. Know. Yeah, dude. Okay. Yeah. I think so it was see, Delta there's then Nila. So <laughs> they have been grinding the new champions, is all you got to know. Like it, they've been pumping yeah. them out. It feels like every couple times I'm logging in, there's a new champion dropping. So uh, that's exciting news for the League of Legends department players. Dude, for Briar, have you played her yet? Because I, I'll be honest, I haven't played that much of her and I've only played against her and I've kind of put a beat down on her in most of the games that I've played against her. She doesn't seem like she's that good. I'm a jungle main too, her. so that's why, uh, yeah. I've played her as much as I can. She's got like a 50% ban rate right now, though, so it's Jeez, pretty hard. Yeah, dude, but, she is uh, getting banned like every game. She can be good. She heals a lot. 
Uh, mm -hmm. She's really fun, though. That is the one thing I said. Just casting your ult and then hitting someone across the map, and then that just that dash in is just so much fun. It's very satisfying to, to hit. That's fair play to you. It's kind of similar to like a Vex ultimate. I see. It's just got way more range on it, you know. And I mean, the t the TP in is wild. Automatically yeah, TP sure. in, right? Like, because you don't have a choice. If it hits, you're going, right? You're going. Yep. Yeah, you you're going. That like, you're going. Until they die. I, I, so. Yeah, dude, that's that's gnarly. So there you go. Briar, absolutely psychotic for our jungle mains, looking to give her a go. I believe she's a jungle main, right? Like jungle mainly yes, played so far. Yeah, so definitely I'll have to give her a shot, man. I was I wasn't really feeling it, but uh I thought Nefiri was gonna be a jungler, but Nefiri looking like more of a mid laner. So yeah. very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. I've seen Briar some crazy has. interactions right. with Nefiri though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can, like, yeah, she not good. Things. Like well, really, Aurelia, uh, Aurelia can queue yeah, through she, all of the Nefiri dogs and get full stacks uh -huh. against her and yeah. just absolutely clear. So, like, there's there's a few things that are good about it. There's a few things that aren't good about it. So, I don't know. Just interesting trying to kind of develop the game and add these new aspects, new champions kind of bringing in uh, newer abilities, I'd say, you know, it's been a while since they've kind of tried to go out of the box a little bit. So pretty exciting to see that they're yeah. going for something like this. Yeah, for sure. Cause I had range extensions and a fury has got the dogs, which block skill shots really annoying. And Briar's got the lots completely, completely new ideas there. So. Yeah. The self taunt is wild. I'm being That's honest. The awesome. self taunt is wild. I think it's so bad. It is actually so bad. Like it, I, I've seen her get punished by it more than I've seen it come through successfully is what I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. By that. but it, it, it's so interesting because you can cancel it with your E, but if you don't have your E up, cause it's like an eight second cooldown and yeah. you press W you're, you're going. So yeah, you're just, you're just going to track them down. Like you're a zombie. You're just brainlessly going and trying <laughs> to claw your way through whoever you're going after. It's definitely an interesting concept. Um, we'll have to give it a little bit more time. That's usually how it goes with some of these newer league concepts, right? It takes time to kind of develop and work its way into uh, a more of a calm rhythm state than this new champion, crazy new ability. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, I've had some briars run it down. So definitely concerned about that. But other than that, you know, exciting new champ, exciting new idea. So looking forward to that. I mean, let's talk about international scene right? World's going on right now. Play in stage yeah. just finishing up. We got action coming through and NA coming in sure. very soon. Our team <laughs> Cloud9, right? Gonna, gonna yes, go sir. ahead and clear. Easy. Undefeated take through groups. Mad. Undefeated through groups. Yeah, Come on. Sure. That's like what it's bound to be. Easy. Bound to be. So definitely riding for the Cloud9 bandwagon. Who are our other two NA representatives at World? Do you know off the top of your head? Oh, I think 100 Thieves is one of them, no? No, Team no, Liquid, Team Liquid okay. and NRG is yep. their first time back. And in the NRG, so. yeah, because yeah, they, they were just evil geniuses, right? No, they were uh, CLG, but then they oh they CLG, just no way. So NRG's back, and they had a bit of a miracle run to beat Cloud9 in the final. So they're the one seed right now. So dang, okay, so that's good to know. NRG back. For CLG, yep. it's a, it's the end of an era for the League of Legends pro scene. The fact that CLG and yes. TSM have both closed their doors and are no longer representing the League of Legends. I'm sorry for this glare, everybody. This this is moving very soon. Setup will be better. I promise. All right, I promise. Just give me okay. a little bit more time to cook that one up. A little bit more time. The sunlight and myself don't go well. All right, pick ban going down now. That is music to my ears. We will be getting into this game very soon, folks. We appreciate your patience. Uh, Champion select very soon to commence. So I'm excited, man. This is going to be fun. Our first best of three of the regular season here. Everything, the road to state starts right now. If you had to go out on a limb and lean one way, one side for a prediction, Clay May, what would it be and why? Uh, I mean, I, I have to go Roseville. They got Mr. Chair, their star player. And frankly, uh, Albert, Albert Lee, didn't see too much out of them in preseason. But even with that, Roseville just seems so strong. They went 2-0 uh, in preseason, I believe. So, yeah, they have multiple stars, multiple ways to carry with Mr. Chair. Haywolf can play a Viego or something. So have to lean their way. Yep. 
can't knock that uh, selection at all. Uh, from history's sake, we would have to lean to the side of Roseville based on what they've been able to do in the past. Uh, Mr. Chair, definitely a star player to watch for. Uh, made it very far in seasons prior. So uh, excited to see, you know, Albert Lee, the, the underdog going into it. We'll see a bit of an unknown, like we've said, so they can always surprise the desk and shake things up. No knock to the side of Albert Lee, but they are coming in against a known force in the side of Roseville who has established themselves in the League of Legends MNBL scene. So it's always fun when you have a new squad trying to come into the scene early on in the season and make a name for yourself. It's no better time than right now for Albert Lee in this best of three. I'm looking forward to it, Clay. It's going to be a, a heck of a ride. Absolutely. Everyone loves an underdog story. Got to see for sure. if Albert Lee can pull it off here. Yeah, man. I mean, what's not to like about it, right? These players trying to create a name for themselves. Uh, what better way than taking out players the likes of Haywolf, Mr. Chair? And if we're missing, maybe maybe Bacon has been on this team before, but I, I could be mistaken. You know, sometimes players just change names too. So there's always a chance that players have just kind of changed their summoner name uh, from one season to the next. So you never really know unless we hear it from themselves in the player interviews after our series. So stay tuned tonight, folks. Three games potentially on the docket if one team doesn't complete it in two. But I mean, just the fact that we have the ability to go to three games, I think is a huge evolution step from what where we were at last season with the chance of a draw. It completely opens up the table. It uh, Honestly, it puts a little bit more pressure and these kids can kind of get that feeling of like, oh my goodness, you know, series on the line. Game three, we just heard it. Champion select, we are... We said it. The Warwick fan comes through because, I mean, dude, OPGG, don't lie, and Mr. Chair is a beast. Warwick, off the table. Sure. Kane coming out, J4. Seeing what the other bands are. Here, Kaisa, very strong pick right okay. now. Always been strong, I feel like. Since Kaisa has entered the game, she's been a menace to the bot lane, been played in mid lane, all kinds of lanes, honestly. So yeah, definitely sure. a strong chance to remove. Hey, Wolf losing out on two of his most played champs in the right. Kane and the Hecarim. So a little bit of jungle targeting going down from he our tries. side of Albert Lee. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Wolf, he also well. got... Ooh, Azir Lock. That's, that's interesting. Also notice the Aatrox ban. I don't know if Tag played that in one of the preseason games. I don't know if that. Scion and Echo here. Now Fiddlesticks. Now I believe... Wow. We did see this. Maybe not. But, yeah. Lots of AP there for the side of Roseville. For yeah, Roseville of, uh, opting for the double Albert magic damage in the Echo Jungle and Mr. Chair on his patented Orianna. So, hefty magic damage on the top side. Scion will balance it out a tiny bit with some AD, but he kind of has split damage. You know, his abilities, his W, I know, yeah. does magic damage. I'm assuming both is, Q and yeah. E are AD and attack damage, that is, oh. and his ultimate would be attack damage as well. So yep. a little bit of magic damage sprinkled on top. But the same can be said for our opposite side here, the Azir and Fiddlesticks. I'm assuming Azir is going to mid lane, unless it's Azir top and Pantheon mid. Azir that top is. would be wild. Pantheon support, But they're lined maybe? up. Azir mid? Yeah, it's got to be Azir mid, right? It's got to be. Has to be. It'd be pretty wild Azir to play top it. would just be, yeah, outside. it would be wild. Like, that's all I got That would say. be a crazy game to start the season off. That'd be. Jeez. Samira so Nautilus now, on the side of Roseville. That's a very kill-heavy bot lane. Lots of kill sure. threat in that bot lane duo. Samira and Nautilus synergizing very well. Samira being able to work with that CC, stopping them with her passive you know, stunning up for longer. Nautilus bringing CC in multiple different areas of his kit. Yeah. If you had to look at both these rosters side to side right now, like we got them lined up, which composition would you be leaning to? And uh, what would be your reason for that? Um, I would, I would probably be leaning towards Roseville here. They seem to have a more centralized idea. Well, 
Actually, hold on. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back on that. I'm going to go back to Apple Elite. They seem to kind of have some dive heavy and all in with the Fiddlesticks all and maybe the Seraph all. Even the Pantheon can get in too. So they have a lot of ways in right now. And mm -hmm. maybe Nain's got appeal. So they have a variety there. Yeah, I like I like what I'm seeing from both uh, compositions, to be honest. I think that you have Dive with Scion and Echo, uh, Dive with the Nautilus Dude, yeah. as well. Oriana and Samira can kind of safely sit backline with how much frontline they have uh, at their disposal. For our opposition's composition, rocking with the Pantheon as your main frontline is like kind of a fake tank. Because like Pantheon's about about as good as like a bruiser. You know, he he For builds sure. some damage, but builds some HP, builds some resistance. So like he's not really a hard tank like Scion and Nautilus uh, on the side of Roseville. It seems to be that their 5v5 fighting might benefit from this. But I mean, a surprise party Fiddlesticks ultimate can always change a team fight if Fiddlesticks is able to find his angles and his entry points. Dude, Fiddlesticks Ultimate is one of those abilities that straight up just can win team fights. If you get a massive Absolutely. fear off and everybody is getting hit by that area of effect damage, I mean, it is game over real quick. And I mean, there's a lot of key uh, fighting areas where that Fiddlesticks Ultimate comes into play. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled on dragon fights, on Rift Herald fights, etc. from the Fiddlesticks. But exciting for this matchup, man. I'm hoping that his ears go in mid lane, and I'm hoping it's Pantheon into the Scion. But other than that, uh, fair match, and let's let, let let the games begin. Any final thoughts Absolutely. from your end before we get into it? I think so, man. I'm just just excited to see some action here on day one of the MNBL, or day two of the MNBL, day one of League of Legends. I feel that. Day two of week one, MNVL season like seven or eight, dude. Uh, it's getting it's getting hard to count these seasons because they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Another one. Another one, right? <laughs> That's how we're going to be doing it out here tonight with the best of three. Loading into the game, I believe. Let's do it. Clay May, game number one. Very soon, very soon. Sorry, I, I'm just I'm just getting excited. I'm getting the butterflies tangling up now in, inside. So I, I, I'm ready to go. We are both antsy. It has been a very long off season. But now the games are going to commence. Best of three, Albert Lee in Roseville. One team going to walk away 1-0 tonight. One team going to be hanging their heads high because they just started off their season, but it didn't go their way. So we'll, we'll, we'll lean like that for uh, tonight's match. No losers. Let's get it going. I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. No losers given fail as long as you get the experience that, you, that you're looking for. Lots of fun here. Straight up. Good competition. Everyone You're getting some it. screen time oh, with two voted casters. I mean, it is always <laughs> a good time. We are getting into this one right now, folks. Thanks for being with us. Game number one of League of Legends starts right now. Let's go. No, you're good. We're going. It's going. You just got to see Actually. my face for a little bit longer. Twitch chat. Let me know your thoughts, dude. I'm thinking about keeping the stash this season. I'm thinking about working on it, all right? With approval from you guys, I'll, I'll consider, all right? So you just, just let me know what your thoughts are. Do we keep the stash going or do we give it a little a little chop? I'm looking like my main oh. graves in game. So it's like, you know, I kind of got to keep it. Night, night. You know, a little bit of that. <laughs> a little bit of that graves action. Come on now. For sure. If there's any Twitch chat I would trust to style my myself it would be the mnvl twitch chat. it would be the mnvl oh, twitch chat right like it's the first twitch chat i thought of i wouldn't go to anybody else i wouldn't even go to my personal twitch stream okay Definitely i would go not. to the mnvl twitch chat first and that is a hundred percent the truth all right let's go dude i'm excited dude. I, I keep saying it and i sound like a little kid saying it but i genuinely <laughs> am excited and i cannot hold it in any longer okay it's it, this is not a drill we are ready to go best at three I'm riled up, dude. I want to be in the service. This is, yeah, we're, we're about to get into it here. Depending, this is... yeah, depending on how this goes, you know, I might have to reapply for high school, join join the league again, <laughs> you know, make reintroduce myself, come back in and play jungle for St. Louis Park. Yeah. We'll St. see. Louis we'll see. I'll have to. I'll have to talk to Jake about that. But that'll yeah, definitely that'll be a different time, different time, different time. Not right Should now. Be in disguise. Yeah, I'll, I'll have the... to shave the mustache for sure. If oh I yeah, come back, for sure. Right? That, that'll yeah, that'll yeah, yeah. That'll it. 
it won't matter what Twitch chat says if I come that'll, back to play because it's gonna that'll, that'll to take go. a few years off your off yourself for sure. For really sure. blend in, clean shave. Uh, I'm gonna have to go no mic in it and no player interview either. I'm gonna have to be remaining anonymous for sure. He's a voice it's just changer. it's the only way. My my voice is too recognizable, man. They'd slap me in a second. I've been with MNVL for too long. Like, wait a second. I think I've heard that voice before. Hold on. Yeah, I think I, think I know this guy. Do you want to do you want to run that bias one more time? Oh, uh, <laughs> Mike, not no. You know, like I, I just I'd have to I'd have to abort the mission at that point. Uh, the jig yeah, would be up. My headset died. Headset died for sure. My my dog just bit my mic, just right so, now, right before the player interview. And it, Hopefully know, soon. Water on my whole at. setup, dude. I've been hearing all kinds of excuses for my Valorant teammates being AFK recently. <laughs> oh, spilled water on keyboard. Oh, yeah, dude. It's we shouldn't even go there, man. I, now I'm leaking onto the broadcast. It's terrible. This is League of it, Legends. It, we need to. It is League of Legends. Yeah, it's it's not safe though. Riot Games, man. You can they'll get you. The AFKs will get you. Sure. All right, they will get you. At yeah. least at least they've updated on queuing rank. Oh, we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we are going in. This. Clay May, take it away. Hold on. I need to move my thing. Okay, there we go. All right. We got some good man bot here from uh, the Siceville. Moving into the tribe top. rush near bottom. I don't think Albert Lee knows yet. Definitely some they aggressive play here. The level one. Got the ward down. We're going to sit in this bush. Trying to look for the ping. Yeah, bot lane not spotting this. This could be trouble if they oh. get curious and come back down yeah. towards their bot side jungle. But nice vision Another control ward. coming through from Roseville at the yeah. rip. And I mean, dude, we talked about Another. it in pre-lobby. It is Azir top running the ghost. So <laughs> absolutely nutty coming through from Albert Lee in game number one. Sure. Can't say I've seen that before. Oh no, definitely not. Not the ghost teleport. Grass for the undying. Ooh, he's running. That, that is quite remarkable. <laughs> You'd think Aerie. <laughs> You'd think Comet. <laughs> but no. Grass for the undying. Mr. Chair doing what he does best, poking away on the Soriana. Oh, for sure. It's it a tough be. matchup for the Pantheon because he's melee into a ranged target control mage of Mr. Chair. So we're going to have to be aware of how Pantheon controls his distance in this matchup. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to land lots of poke with the cues to attempt to get some stuff there. Stun now landing onto goats here. Looks like he's gonna get pushed out a little bit, but he'll be fine. Oh Big boy. chunk for Mr. Flash Chair. Burned. Forced to flash. Digital Craig guy. That's that's, that's a good cool pressure for Mr. Chair. For yeah. Hey, Another stun. Ghost burned as well. Both solo laners getting in trouble early here, Clay. That's. That's yeah. pretty troubling because Echo now has very good gap closing as it is. So going to be Absolutely. able to maybe take advantage on one of these solo laners in the next couple minutes. Ghost, definitely not as long of a cooldown as Flash, but still definitely a timer window in the next couple of minutes for Haywolf and Roseville. Absolutely. Looks like he's actually going bot side right now. Heading into the tri brush. Ooh, Nautilus hooking a land. When the hook lands under Dizzy, he's trying to get out. Tumbles away. Oh, with the W from Echo, he's going to go E, and he's going to secure the first blood. Now they're going to land the stun first for the candlelight, and candlelight's going to fall as well. Wick, a dive as well in the top, top lane. Oh my goodness. Dive Don't tell me Pantheon's going to go down. Wow. That we was... got to get a breather. Pantheon, Oh, he's... No! oh he does. Oh, boy. Oh my well, goodness. just like that, Roseville have snapped the kill lead from zero to four <laughs> real quick clay and i mean look at the goal lead wow. just skyrocket instantaneously 6.7k yeah, to a 3.9k <laughs> on albert lee that is trouble that is in so i mean awesome. immediately punishment from those summoner spells being burned within the first couple of waves that's tough absolutely yes yep. we're gonna see lots of turret plates buff. come out they got pushed they got early stuff Scion back. He's going to pick up two long swords. We actually might be going an AD build Pantheon. there. Pantheon. Ooh. Phase rush Chair? activating, saving Mr. Chair's life. But yeah, now Hay Echo Wolf is here now. Back on the digital. No flash. Any more damage. Is he going to take him down? He's going to get Absolutely. him. Absolutely. Oh, flash in aggressive from Fiddlesticks. Land on the W. 
but he's not gonna land the E, and Halo's just gonna walk out. Dude, this is so much action back and forth. Dracos is in trouble, and yeah. he didn't realize it till too late. Zion's just gonna beat his head in Side. with that axe. Zion. For sure. Slowed. The huge There's charge. the Q, Knocked and up. he's down. Good night. Yeah. Six kills here for Roseville. Only four, four minute 20 into the game here. Wait a second. Just trying to get oh, the wave in. Going aggressive. A a three level here. advantage. Damage, but he's getting chunked he's down. He's just dead. He's just he's dead. Just, he's just that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and Mr. Chair getting another freebie is what we call that one. A nice yeah. dredge line another onto hook. the Big vein. Line. To go in, Dizzy's in trouble. To damage. Flash, Dizzy forced burn. a flash. Now they're just going to look on a candlelight. Haywolf is here as well. Get the W. Oh He's going to E onto him. And Haywolf gets another kill. Already on a killing spree here. Five minutes in. Clay, this is getting out of hand way too quickly. 10.4, 10.5k gold lead and counting. Scion, level six, just another hit the Q. ultimate. Gonna get Azir the in get trouble. Oh boy. He's gonna done to bash him in. That's a dead e. birdie. He's just walking and it's gone. Okay, Roseville, this is this is cruel and unusual punishment coming out this early. Yeah, this is well in control of this game. Pantheon's and the going all, bye just, bye. He's just gone. He just disappeared into the black hole. <laughs> Oriana's shockwave from Mr. Chair. Man, dragon coming through. I mean, right now, master class of the early game being put on. And it is so many holes in the boat that Albert Lee is sinking rapidly at this rate because the scaling's not that bad on this Roseville side here, Clay. No, definitely not. Scion has that infinite scaling. The Oriana going to definitely scale into the late game. Samira as well, too. And you know, I already picked the dragon here. So just we're, we're six minutes in. We already got like 6K gold to 12K gold. That's just, that's too much. Yeah, it's way too much. Pantheon still not respecting the damage that Oriana's doing or the and range. just dying. Jared, dredge line. Seraphine's line. dead too. Seraphine's right now, we are calling Mayday. Mayday, we need backup on the server. Backup. Ghost burned. Albert Lee is in trouble for this first game. Yep, still, still not seeing any sums on the side of Albert Lee, so they can just keep being exploited by Haywolf for, for a while here now. He has flashes down, so maybe a little less kill threat there, but who knows. Got the Dark Seal coming out for Mr. Chair, looking for a snowball there. And it'll a lethality build for I don't know Tag on Scion. We just got to work on this, this Albert Lee composition just a little bit. They just got to go back to playing a little bit more simpler composition and more towards the norm, right? We talk, talked about it a lot in the Champion Select, how out of the ordinary it is for this Azir to be played up in the okay, top lane. I mean, stunned. look at him. He stands autos, no that, that, chance he's against just gone. He's just gone. It's like, yeah. And it's the same for the Pantheon matchup in the Oriana, right? Pantheon yeah. requires to be up close to his target. Here he goes, flashing in, flashing going in. aggressive, and trying to turn w it on the pan here. He's going to get the fear on. Get some damage under Mr. Chair, but good damage, just, but shockwave alt. damage. He's gonna trade one back. Can he get minions? Oh, so low. One versus the two, w, and he's just out of the range. Yeah, that's Mr. Quick Chair putting on a clinic, folks. <laughs> Six zero oh, and one at man, seven oh, man. minutes. It just leads me to believe that research wasn't done either, because Mr. Chair gets his most consistent, best mid lane champion that he's played throughout his MNVL play, which has been the Oriana. Another alt. This is a flawless game that's going to come through from out or from Roseville, dude. I don't even know if they're going to drop a, a body, because right now they're <laughs> just snowballing and snowballing. 16 kills and counting. Digital's down three levels. <laughs> yeah. That dredge way. line it lands. Oh, Samira. another dredge line landing Combo. onto Dizzy. He's going to tumble away, but there's no flash. And, and there's no hope. Like he's just going to take him down. Now, Mr. Chair, Chair baiting in the Pantheon. Can stunned. Fiddlesticks get up close? Getting on to him. Not in time. In. Not in time. And he's in got back play. Even the he's Rift got the cavalry. Down and the stun. Oh my goodness. This is getting out of hand. We got to abort ship. <laughs> just gonna move 19k gold in counting here, Clay. Thousand, thousand gold per kill right now, it seems. <laughs> I mean, I'm just taking a second to let this settle. 
Sink Roseville in. putting on an absolute statement game in game number one here against Albert Lee, who met their match. We were talking about the underdog story. I didn't think it was going to be like this. This would <laughs> this would be a heck of a story here for Albert Lee to... Poor Dracos running for his you know, life Dracos. in Haywolf. He has no wall. He has no sums. He's just going to die. Farming him like a, a jungle here. camp. Haywolf gets him down. Already unstoppable in minutes. And, and another kill for Mr. Chair. Add on to the tally. 21. Can Those I get 22? Going under. Going under Dizzy. Hex is here, though. Oh, silence. One but his team two, isn't following up. He's just, he's just burst down. There's nothing they can do. The flash the, in. A nice condemn flash. coming Ooh. through from Vayne to push Splinkies away. But, man, this team fighting ability. I mean, we talked about the kill threat that this bot lane possesses. It is on command here in the bot lane, Clay. Absolutely here. We got that first turret down, I believe. They're looking for mid. Just a little bit more damage than they'll need. But Fragai, he's just going to go down again. Imwolf is dominating. I already picked up the I mean, first I'm just, dragon and the first Yeah, this turn. is... I'm surprised nobody's given Another Pantheon the heads stunning. up like, hey, stop trying to fight Orianna. Like, Orianna's so <laughs> fed and strong. You got to look out for your teammates in there, right? Let them know. A big oh, yeah. thing in this game that is not like many games, like once you start dying and once people start gaining items and gaining that XP advantage plus item advantage, I mean, oh, look at that. The gone. Pantheon oh. just gets deleted yeah. off the server. Same with Vayne. Orianna can fight <laughs> three people by herself right now. Like, you got to farm. There's, there's levels to it, right? You got to play the game in its whole. It's not just fight, fight, fight. And that's what Albert Lee is learning the hard way on this first match. Absolutely. Here, already moving on to the inhibitor turrets. Ooh, Pantheon ulting here. in. Pantheon's ulting. Where's he going? He's going onto the wave, looking for Mr. Chair. He's going to land Good the turret damage onto Mr. Chair, but... The turret damage, turret not shot, gonna do not it enough. Man. It's not Wolf enough. Is -like. And, ooh, and the drudge line on the candlelight. W from Samiri is just going to go down again. Ulti in from Hex, looking for Haywolf, but the stuns from the W is going to land, and that's not going to get it. But they're going to uh, land the cancel on Mr. Chair, but he's going to get out, nice and flash. Haywolf is going to go in, he's going to flash. Haywolf is running for his, or Mr. Chair is running for his life, and Haywolf's running Mr. for his life. Mr. Chair, no HP. He's coming out. Wait, Echo moves back in. Have? Haywolf's going Ultimate on. Ultimate from Fiddlesticks, and he dies. Gonna get him. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Haywolf and Mr. Chair combining for 20 kills between the two <laughs> of them and eight assists. Dude, Crag Guy's going back in, but I mean, he can't Crag really Guy cannot anything. be turned away from this fight, dude. Like Nothing damage, is going to stop Crag Guy. He can't do anything, and Candlelight's going to fall on the bot side as well. Nala's trying to take it's the turn down. He's going to die! He's getting the ult down. Oh, the heal. The flash heal saves him. Ooh. Holy buckets. I thought Nautilus was, was gone. But they stay deathless. 33 and 0. Yep. Looks like Dracos is going to fall here again. Dracos is just getting beat Q. by this Scion in the top lane. Hey, Mr. Chair going to take an inhib tower. Clay May, I'm getting ready to call this game number one of this best of three. Roseville showing that they are here for a reason. Shockwave Another ripping them apart. Massive chunks. He's going to take down Craig oh, Diesel, again. Just run away, Jeez. buddy. Just, don't dude, run don't, don't, the Yuri. ward's not worth it. Oh, the control no. ward can wait. <laughs> now Draco's uh, going. Chair. If if Albert Draco's, Lee would I'm not try sure. to fight as a team, they maybe have a chance. The fact that they're staggering themselves and funneling in one at a time, one at a time it's to funky, Mr. Chair you know, is the reason gonna get it down. that they keep falling. Hello there. Sexy. Getting a fear. But the alt from, I don't know, Tag, and he's just going to land. And it's just down. He's just going to bash him with the axe. He's just going to take him. Kills now for Roseville. Yeah, this is out Able of hand here. indeed. I'm gonna get out. And just how excited would it be to see a perfect like game, this. the first game of the regular season, flash out. Right I mean, guy. that's what we're on pace for. And not just Able a perfect just, game. Able an absolute uh, slaughter. He's gonna take down Crag Eye though. And he's gonna just walk out. Albert Lee was absolutely looking for the pick on a Haywolf there. But he's just the Echo's movement speed, the W, the Q, the slows. He can't. They just can't get him. Wow. Oh, you out. I mean, this oh, is just is... a masterclass clinic put on by Roseville. Like, there's nothing else to be said. From the start of the game to every second that has gone by, 
And he's gonna Roseville go. have been in control. Azir's sure. gone. Splanky. He's jumping Goodbye, on a Draco. The ult comes out, but it doesn't do anything. Now the stun landing onto a digital cray guy. Mirror onto Haywolf. No he's ultimate. getting chunked low. No ultimate. He's just gonna yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Samira pulling up to the party. Splanky's here. Splanky's. Goodbye, Haywolf. fiddlesticks. Trying to get in. <laughs> 44 kills. Rose Mr. Rose. Chair. Ooh, nice condemn from Vayne, Ooh. but it doesn't actually matter. Kung? <laughs> doesn't actually matter because we're Another QW. Q yeah, QW kills. He's them. just sitting and, on the inhibitor. Yep, the ult, and yep. that's three kills. Dude, none of them are respecting the Oriana ball. Like, all game. Like, we could move away. But we're going to stand on top of what is one-shotting us. Chunks on a text. Oh, the ult from Havel's life. IDK Tag's going to die to turret here. Just... An execution, the execute, though. though. Mr. Chair, chair gets and a the alt triple Samira, kill. Digital crack Maybe guy. Where are you going into, buddy? On for going the pentakill. Kill. Pentakill for Can Mr. Chair. Can we get a pentakill? Day no one, flash, game but he's gonna one, get the pentakill. That is fire for Mr. Chair. Going back to where he left off. We'll finally go down. Low. He's the first Ooh. dead. Executed. The perfect game. The perfect game tarnished as two, two of them are gonna now. fall. 52 to 2. Still a 50 kill spread. I mean, my oh my. <laughs> Roseville, man. Welcome back to the league. We have missed you. Now you're showing us why. We're ready to, ready to go again here. Also picked up the first two dragons here. Because I'm kidding. Not for the Herald, so got a lot, a lot of push there. This game is looking... Not looking too good for Alverly. Yeah. We probably were saying that like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I mean, dude, <laughs> to be honest, well, to be honest, like to jump up 6 0 within the span of like two minutes, like they did, is just so like crazy he's charging for the queue to get a lead like that. Stun. Look at that. And the alt. Oh, and he's got the Dusk Blade to get out. Beard Silence. Doesn't matter. As Weird Q there. Oriana TP's in to help him out. Shockwave's gonna hit four. Look at him. Back. He's got Shockwave. Wow, oh my gosh. Wow. The, the yeah, okay, get me out of here. It's a it's <laughs> Just end it. It's just it's a quadra, though. So close to the double penta. Roseville. That flash self ulti from Mr. Chair was sick. The W <laughs> explosion from the Scion was even cooler. A triple kill. Guy. Roseville going to walk away with map number one under their belts very handedly here, Clay May. Absolutely. Another oh, hit final look for maybe another. 60. Another Penta. 60. He's going to take it. He's going to 61. That'll be it. And 62. two. 62. It's not. And, and three. another big Q on the Crag Eyes. Not three. 62 oh. it is. I and a Dancing Rift Herald. Like dancing Shelly. 62 eliminations. I mean, Twitch chat, I don't know what we just witnessed. That was a bloodbath. Wow. Roseville demolishing everywhere. Top lane, jungle, mid lane, bot lane. Minions were demolishing. <laughs> Neutral <laughs> objectives. Like, yeah, for sure. Albert Lee, we want to see a little bit less aggressiveness in that early game, right? Let's tone it back just a tad because. If you get behind like that in the early game, man, you're just not really going to have much to, to back yourself up on. Uh, you saw how quickly they fell behind, and then that gold lead just expanded exponentially. Clay. Absolutely, Skip. Against the, especially against the snowball of the Oriana, and especially the Samira and that bot lane. They also got that early ward control, so they were able to work the jungle there. So really, we just need to see overall kind of better control over the game from Albert Lee here in the, in the game. For sure. For sure. Just going to have to tone back the aggression a little bit in the early game. Uh, we saw good ideas from plays, but Mr. Chair definitely got ahead and then never really stopped having his foot on the gas pedal, right? It was uh, a one-way street for that first game. So Albert Lee, let's see if we can get more of a traditional comp, right? Maybe maybe the Azir play is what they've been doing and what they've been practicing and putting work on. But like the Azir top, he's just a pretty weak early laner right uh and it seemed like from start to finish azir was not in a pretty spot in that top lane i want to see a little bit more of like a front line 
uh, that that Albert Lee could kind of provide, right? So whether or not they're having a bad game, they could still have some front line that they can rely on because that Pantheon, I mean, you saw how quickly he was getting deleted all game, right? It just sure. is not going to cut it. So we are going to be taking a quick break, folks, between games here. Don't go anywhere. Grab your snacks right now. But when we come back, game number two of our best of three between Roseville and Albert Lee, we'll catch you on the flip side. Here at Concordia St. Paul, you will have the opportunity to earn a degree, make lifelong friendships, and play a game you love on an esports scholarship. For more information, visit csp.edu slash esports. You know that moment when the world goes quiet? When the static in your ears and the skitter of your pulse fall away. And for a moment, you feel ready. More than that, you feel sure. At UW River Falls, we know the feeling well. Because when the world goes quiet and you step boldly into the moment, that's when you know you're a falcon. That's when you know you're limitless. Coming in and actually seeing all the computers filled with kids and they have on their jerseys and they got their coaches next to them and I see direct parallels over the football. There's just not a lot of knowledge about gamers out there. People just don't know what they don't know. They have to develop teamwork like any other physical game does. You don't have the teamwork, you don't win. You take a kid who never had confidence before and you give them confidence and you can see what they can do with their lives.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting things back underway for game number two of day one of League of Legends. Uh, a bit of a treat of map number one. Clay May joining me on the broadcast. So, sure. how are we feeling after game number one? Well, I'm feeling like we just, we need to see something from Alvarez. I mean, we didn't get much time to see anything from them in the previous game. But like we talked about, we need to see more of a standard, maybe a front to back 5v5, 5v5 team fight comp something like that, where they can play a bit more passive in early game, just kind of play comfortably, don't get aggressed on too hard, maybe look for some team fights around Rift Heralds or Dragons, or just something where they can get resources without using any on their side. For sure, yeah. A little bit more stability to get them going off the gate. So we'll see how they approach uh, the champion select on this game number two but overall you know it just seemed like from start to finish they were put on the back of their heels and they were kind of trying to chase the catch-up game which we all know in league of legends is very difficult especially when you got a team like uh roseville snowballing hectically out of control with mr chair leading the charge hey wolf having a major game as well as idk tag in the top lane on that scion and i mean i didn't even mention bot lane but bot lane tore it up too so like this whole Roseville squad as a team looked dangerous in game number one. Absolutely. And they clearly they clearly know how to draft for their for their team. They had some comfort there, they had some carry picks. They they know what they're doing. And for the side of, of Albert Lee, it, it it'd be hard to ban away a lot of their comfort picks. Because I mean, even Mr. Chair can just have five of his own, you know, carry picks, comfort picks, whatever he needs. Yeah. So draft will be definitely a bit more interesting this time. Yeah, it seemed as though uh, they were aiming their sights on Haywolf for that first gaming or first game. They banned the Warwick, but then the rest of the bands were targeted towards their jungler. And it seemed as though that didn't really shake Haywolf up too much. Performed nicely on the Echo, right? Had nice impact early on, had some pretty solid ganks. And overall, uh, really started snowballing that game out of control for his solo laners. I mean, granted... It's easy when both your solos can kind of get those summoner spells out of their counter parts without you having to show up yet. You know, you're pulling up yeah. to lanes where they got no flash, they have no escape tool, and uh, they are going to kind of bite the dust when you got an echo jumping out of the bushes on you. I mean, it's tough to get away from echo. He's a, he's a sticky champion. Absolutely. After, especially after that beatdown we just saw, we're going to have to see if Albert Lee can, can just like mentally make sure they're still in the game here. Because it, it, it's hard to come back after losing a game like that, but it's got to focus on what's ahead. Maybe they can get this For game sure. here big. I mean, even that would be a big win here, and then take us to the uh, game three. Where I mean, even in game three, it's one one. So let's just don't just forget about the previous games that happened. Because whoever wins this or wins game three wins the whole series. Yep. Got to have that goldfish mentality for the side of Albert Lee, right? Got to forget about that first game, move on to the next. Okay, it's a brand new game, a new opportunity, but you still got to respect what your opponents are capable of. We know darn well that this Roseville squad showed up to play. I mean, 62, I've never seen anything like that. That it, is it was, an all-time yes. high and uh, just kills put up for a game. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled on how this is going to roll for game number two. Albert Lee, hopefully coming in with a little bit more calculated aggression in the early stages of the game, just so they don't end up digging themselves a hole that they cannot climb out of. Absolutely. Gonna be a, yeah, but I mean, be we, should be <laughs> we should be finishing. We should be finishing the pro draft very soon is what I was trying to say, but I go ahead and uh, well. continue what your thought was. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a tall order, but who knows? Maybe these, I believe they're newer players, or some of them at least. But mm -hmm. uh, they're Albert Lee. But uh, see if they can make their mark here and take a game off of Roseville here. Maybe take the series. We'll we'll have to see. Yeah, for sure. And it's Anything no knock happen. to Albert Lee. No knock to Albert Lee for struggling in that game number one up against Roseville. This squad played in our last season as well of League of Legends. And I believe we're a top two performing school, if not top three. So definitely a competitive squad. Definitely have two or three players that are returning to play again. So, you know, they know what is expected coming into the MNBL season. And Albert Lee is just kind of running into a very good squad early on in the early growing stages of teams, right? So you get better every week. 
Uh, we'll see if they can get better after one game because that's what Albert Lee is looking for right now as we get ready for game number two, uh, just a few moments away from getting into champion select. So waiting on that. Is there any other tips or tricks that you have for Albert Lee? Oh, man. I think it's, I, I think it's going to be in the team comp here. Going to be able to team comp and being able to work the map. Uh, we had that or uh, level one invade into the bottom side jungle. So yep. maybe just trying to prevent that. But they just need a grasp on on the on the game and being able to start the game without being down a few kills and being able to get their yep. footing and get. Yep. Caught. No, that'd be nice. Uh, I I am in agreement with you there. So we are doing the pro draft pick ban right now. We should be going into our champion select when that is over. Uh, I mean, the big thing is just knowing when, when your timings are for, for good fights and when bad fights are, because it seemed like once the fighting started from Albert Lee, they never really stopped fighting. They just kind of fought their way into their own graves. Right. So uh, yeah. leagues way there's a lot more depth uh, that goes into it than just that especially because in this game like we said you get items and you get gold after getting kills and objectives like what roseville was doing and the more items and the higher your level is just the better your stats are compared to the side of albert lee in that last game and we we saw like a four to five level xp lead so that in itself is already a massive gap plus you add on all the items that give them better damage better resistance whatever it may be it just got to be too much so albert lee got to be more calculated coming into this one and uh got to pick and choose their battles a little bit better for sure i need to uh, make sure they can manage manage how far roseville gets ahead or if they get ahead who knows Albert Lee could go full early game aggression and just try and beat him down, but who knows? We kind of saw that last True. game. It was just good counterplay from Roseville. And Haywolf had some really good yep. uh, timings, really good map movement there. Yeah, it seemed like Roseville made all the right moves that they needed to in the early game, which therefore set themselves up for an easy execution of the game plan. And they really took over from start to finish. I mean, we freaked out in the first couple of minutes because of how much action was back and forth. But usually the action back and forth benefits both teams. This action was only benefiting Roseville. Yeah. So Roseville was just winning on the bottom, on the top side, in the jungle, in mid lane. Like they were just winning everywhere. So it like it really made it hard for Albert Lee to find any area where you can kind of try to claw back into the game because they didn't have any like places to grab onto, right? If you're losing in every lane, there's no real area that you can kind of put your eggs into one basket and try to start to salvage the game so you got to find an area to get strong you got to play to a specific style right roseville plays a lot around their mid lane i mean you saw how often hey wolf sure. was hovering uh mr chair right so yeah. you albert lee have to pick a lane going into this next game uh it's probably not against mr chair <laughs> so we'll uh, see how it goes though probably yeah. I uh, just, right, Mr. Chair seemed pretty like he could handle himself in the one versus two department. All right, Hail Ban, Cho'Gath Ban. So a little bit of a pop lane of this. They're starting off both bands. Not sure about the Kale here. Maybe they're playing from, uh, oh, that's, that's, all right. there's the Warwick we expected. Can't let Mr. Chair get that. He'll just take over the game. Room now, so some emphasis on to TG Tex to uh, not allow him to get a carry pick. Hecarim is also a bit of a playmaker because the alt has a lot of uh, mobility, a lot of CC, a lot of area, so it can be really good to follow up or kind of uh, be able to fight back in two or threes. There's the Oriana bands taking out a comfort pit from Mr. Chair, but I mean, we've seen him play many other champs. Ari yep. now, he definitely the play a kind Victor of or something else. Yeah, his sure. Victor is nasty. Mr. Chair has got a very good victor. I mean, you, that's the one of the other champions we were talking about a lot in the pre-game, I mean, pre-stream chat, I should say. That victor Oriana combo, deadly from the likes of Mr. Chair. But, I mean, Anivia as well. I know he plays a dirty Anivia. 
Not a lot of people rock with Anivia, dude, but a good Anivia, oh boy. That'll ruin your day. All right, we're sticking with the Fiddlesticks. I like Dracos on the Shivana. I'm definitely more of a Shivana fan than an Azir top fan going into this oh, one. Definitely. So thumbs up from Skepter and Cray May, and we're staying on the Pantheon, baby. Give it oh, another my go. Oh, goodness. What is that, that new new mid, bro? <laughs> That's real. Oh, oh no. This my is... goodness. Roseville, you don't have to you don't have to do this. I mean, I think they <laughs> do. I on the contrary, just... I, I think they do. Morn ban now. Side of Albert Lee. They're running a very similar comp here, but of course Roseville changing it up a bit. Rise band coming out, focusing on the mid lane there. But that that new new mid is gonna, that's gonna mess some things up. Bro, Nasus they're and all Poppy. melee. Poppy, Nasus, new new. Like, too, they're yeah. just trying to run them down. Not beat man. them up. Like they're trying to. I think they're. Oh, Senna. Senna. Okay, well there's some backline. Yeah, backline is hit hide behind the. It's now. a hefty meat wall that they have though with the Poppy, Nasus, new new. Candlelight sticking sure. with their Seraphine. Could be an AP new new. Oh, it most likely will be. The Lux for bot lane support to round it out. Ah. This is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Roseville going out of the ordinary for our game number two here tonight. Locking in the new, new mid lane, dude. This is going to be unbelievable. <laughs> this is going to be Normally, fun. when you see new, new mid lane, it means one thing. Disco, new, new. Ghost cleanse oh, back no. in the day. Down mid lane. Who knows? Maybe it's secret tech for Mr. Chair here. It has to be secret tech. I don't think they've doing. ever seen anything like this before. I don't think I've ever seen a, a new new mid in MNVL, so we'll put it as the first time uh, a combatant is busting out the new new mid in MNVL. Normally played sure. in the jungle position, for those of you who aren't too familiar with new new. But honestly, new new going up against Pantheon can probably be annoying and cause some problems for the Pantheon Definitely. matchup. So, here. Kind of, yeah, interested to see how the, it's going to play out. Interested to see how it's going to play out. Yeah, for sure. Especially against Albert Lee's comp, which is three of the, I believe, I believe it's three of the five players are playing the same champs. Obviously, you have the Shivana for Dracos and the, uh, it was, oh, the Zeri for uh, uh, their, their bot lane there. Yep. So, uh, Stick, seeing if they sticking can. Sticking on the pan, sticking on the fiddlesticks, sticking on the Seraphim. Yeah, that's. They like that. The Pantheon Panth was the most the interesting one sticking. The Panth was the most interesting one that stuck with me, but we're going to go with it because you got to stick with comfortability at the end of the day. Uh, you don't want to just go in there and first time something if you don't have any play or any experience right on anything else. So it makes sense. Stick to what you know. I'd say for Pantheon, you just got to be way more passive in your laning phase because, I mean, Mr. Chair, I guess it's not that ranged versus melee matchup this time. That's the one beneficial oh. thing for the Pantheon is they are going into a melee versus melee matchup against the Nunu and Willump on the opposition side. For sure. So Nunu won't just get poked down way. by the ball. Won't get poked down by the ball. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to do the poke it goes. There. Nunu will be shooting some yeah. snowballs at you. Chucking some snowballs sure, at yeah. you, whatever he does. Yeah, he's not. I don't know, man. He just kind of rolls a ball uh, at you and then sees you and then yeah. then you die. Yeah, Nunu's dude. The full AP Nunu is just scary too because that snowball oh, can do awful. so much damage if he gets rolling, starts yeah. pushing that snowball, picks it up speed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's terrifying. It can get entertaining, especially Nunu mid. He's got a lot of roam potential. Right, he can roam top lane, Definitely. snowball up there through top uh, river, can snowball bot lane and make some plays happen. There's just a lot of playmaking potential with the new new mid. And you might say that I'm I'm just copium McGee right now and I'm just trolling, right? Oh, Skepter, new new mid's not real, not real. Well, guess what? I've played new new mid in a tournament way back in the day. All right. So it, I can tell you it is real, it can sure. work. And uh, you can steal a lot of jungle objectives because of news, new news Q. Like that does so much true damage to neutral Absolutely. objectives. It's basically a junior smite now. So 
you know, no jungler, no problem. Sure, Nunu's yeah. going to take a couple bites out of that dragon and take care of that. So excited. Uh, our timer should yeah. be uh, coming to an end soon, and we should be loading into game quite, quite soon. Roseville, Albert Lee, game number two of this best of three, folks, right around the corner. I hope you grabbed your snacks on our little break because it was nonstop action for like the 18 or 19 minutes of gameplay that we had last game. So if that's going to continue into this one, we are in for another madhouse game of league of legends. Absolutely. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. False start, false start on the offense. We're good. No league client be doing that. It acts up sometimes. That's okay. You know, we take it in stride, take it on the chin, right? Yeah. Keep looking forward, moving, you know, memory of a goldfish. Okay. Ted Lasso said it best. I'm just going to stick to sure. it. That's going to be my motto for the season. Okay. If it's not going your way, you get that goldfish mentality wiped from the memory. Never happened, buddy. You're right back where you need to be. You're trying to win the round or the game at hand. Okay. Cause that's all that matters. The present. For sure. Last All right, let's go. Namaste. It wasn't a slow. Had a had a good run there. We'll see if Albert Lee can pull off a yeah. bit of an upset here, especially after game I one. I wiped, I wiped that game one from my memory. So I hope Albert Lee did the same. <laughs> yeah. What, you what was the kill to. score? The only way. I don't even. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, Couldn't it was like you, even, right? Yeah. I think it was a close game. Yeah, for That's sure. How they chalked yeah, that yeah. one up. Like, but now Albert Lee. A tough draw in Roseville, like I'll say that again, you know, benefit of the doubt they're playing against a really good squad uh, in Roseville. So it is what it is. Mr. Chair is different. That's a fact. Yeah. If anybody Has can put make on, the new new mid work, it might be him. Yeah, it might be him for real. Mr. Chair on the new new and will up. I'm excited to see these snowball rotations and ganks coming out of the mid laner. It's, uh, it, it's going to be exciting, man. New new mid is something fierce. Yeah. Be a something fierce me. man like he's gonna be Dude, bowling I'm, down every lane. you're just so used to new new mid being such a grief troll pick so the fact that he's gonna be playing it and he's gonna probably do a good job is just gonna be fun to watch absolutely so yeah. used to everybody just running it down on new new they go oh yeah that's too all right i'm locking in new new buddy here we go and then you just yeah. know you got to pull the plug on that yeah, lobby sure. gotta go again dodge it up yeah. He's who have you been playing in look. the jungle? I know that was way off topic, but I said who who have you been playing in the jungle? Um, right oh, now, I'm curious to know. Playing a lot of Briar because she's new, okay. and she's fun. But I've also yep. been playing a lot of Kha'Zix. He's kind of my big man. Right Heck now. yeah! Heck yeah! He's awesome. I'm a cult Kha'Zix fan, bro. You can. Sure. I love me some Kha'Zix. Some K6. Dude's a beast. Definitely. The Kha'Zix, yeah. Rengar, Graves, Jarvan, Lee Sin. I mean, dude, you name it, I play it in the jungle. I play literally everything. I said it. I said I don't play everything earlier, but that's because I was considering all the champs. If we're talking the jungle, dude, I'll yeah. play it. Except for Briar. Yeah. I haven't played her yet. But oh, yeah. I used to play Urgot jungle, Silas jungle. I mean, Urgot. dude. Yeah, dude. When he got reworked. I got some nasty clips of me playing Urgot jungle. <laughs> Walking into a Baron pit, hitting an ulti on a guy, dur, 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 putting him into the grinder, terrifying everybody in Baron pit. All right, load into game. No more go. malarkey from me. Let's get it away. Roseville. Here we go. Four man now. Uh, oh, oop, what's happening? And five man here now with uh, the champ joining up from Roseville. Here goes Nunu. There he goes. He's he's bowling. Snowball going in. in. They're doing they're doing the same play, just a slightly different route here. Going into the bot side jungle, gonna get down some vision here. And once again, I, I don't think Albert Lee knows. There's no way they could be aware. There's a ward. Doesn't look like they're gonna stay, but now the bot lane for uh, Roseville moving down. Hail from Big Champ going up. Mr. Chair going mid. Took the ignite as well, so it's gonna be playing a little aggressive there. The ghost from the Nasus that is certainly also Nasus jungle. I didn't even notice that yet. Yeah, the Nasus jungle is definitely interesting. Ghost on Nasus too is interesting. Draco's sticking with the ghost in the top lane, so no escaping from Shivana up there. No, no get out of jail Absolutely. card. So definitely have to keep an eye on that. And then yeah, sure. I noticed too Pantheon not buying a health pot for mid lane. Just gonna play laning oh, phase no, like a didn't. like a man. No need for healing. Yeah, he's gonna 
He's not scared. He knows what he's doing. Nunu don't scare me. Ah, uh, never. So Nunu's actually trying to invade the jungle too right now. I don't know if oh, he's yeah, actually he taking the red buff. I already had because he's, there, so I don't he know. started he started W too, so he can't actually like cue the jungle camp or anything. So he's nice. just gonna W back to mid lane here. He's heading back, rolling around, get some minions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what he hoping we can focus on this mid lane matchup. Bot lane just kinda going out, some poking thrown out, Senna Q's, Luxies, lots of stuff. Senna Lux is a is it a fairly typical bot? I mean they're kinda both support, so really sure low damage yeah they they don't have the best wave clear like early on but they are oh, a yeah, very yeah. good poke lane like, landing these now. two can make it happen yeah, together yeah, we got it's done now that happened in there he's gonna walk it off he knows he's strong he knows what he's doing more poke coming out now so so look at this hay wolf looks like he's pathing towards top side just got off the wolves there but now he's actually going down the side jungle. Your chair gonna snowball back into mid here. PG Tex for the fiddlesticks is Raptors, and where is Mr. Chair going? <laughs> Not tanking turret, so out. he's okay. He can just queue up off the minions. That's the big thing. The sustain, but a root in the bot lane. Land. Now Ziri gonna but go the, down. He, and down. Pelican getting the first blood, or Bacon getting the first blood. The head nice out there. kill coming through from Roseville. That was a great binding from Lux to Absolutely. set that kill up for free. Senna sure. gonna take that one. Now I'm trying to trade in top lane. A little bit of stuns, another binding landing. Get some damage on. Yeah, forced to flash. They're gonna secure the end we had a We had a substitution too from Roseville. If you look at the top lane. Yeah, we did. Champ stepped in for IDK tag, so. Yep. Trying to see what they can do on the server. Nunu now finding fiddlesticks in their own jungle and absolutely making Trying a mess of damage. them. And he's gone. He Poor fiddlesticks thought he could jungle in his own jungle. Nope. Nah. No can do. Nah. Not, Not against Mr. the Nunu Mr. Chair's playing. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mr. No fun. Yeah. And picking up that red buff. It, though, from Albert Lee. Last game. Yeah, yeah, a little bit better of start. Not as far behind. Haywolf picking a way weaker early game jungler in, yeah, uh, in sure. this case. Gnosis not going to do nearly as much as that Echo was doing uh, in that first game. Just because of how much longer it takes Gnosis to kind of get up and going into the game and be a threat. Yeah. Bit more of a variety here. I mean, they have the NASA scaling and the Senna scaling. And it's kind of a power pick, so... See what happens there. So, ooh, finding doesn't mean. just getting some damage on a dizzy. Snowball landing, digital crag guys getting yeah. eat away. Just gonna walk. Good damage from the new new fiddle six tries to make an appearance Ooh, in the bot lane, but warded out and vision. is known. What they can do there? They're on a walk up here. It's a fear, but no real way to follow up on that. Just leeching XP. Ooh. Just uh, damage coming out and dizzy. Nothing there though. He has flash. He'll be fine. But other than that flash, not many sums up on the side okay, of Okay, Fiddlesticks is in trouble now. What? Oh, very Good low on job. HP. Lux gonna looking for the last auto. And gonna convert the, uh, the kill. Auto. Easy now. Ziri uh, gonna try to jump the wall. Not gonna, gonna make it in time. This Blanky's getting a double. Bit of a trade Ooh, there. Shivana tanks a turret shot. shot. That could be the difference That's maker big. in this 1v1. He's walking up, but he's got no flash. He can't copy. The e. the autos. Not going to happen. Not quite. So, Just so close. Shy. New new back to the mid lane. Back. Noss is getting dragon. That's pretty big. For sure. Trying to just snowball lead here. Still Crag Eye getting some big chunks onto Mr. Chair. i put him a bit up in this lane, but the healing from the Q. The chomp. Yeah, the healing's uh, nasty. Healing. Just a little too much. Ooh, okay. the way they're coming we'll... through. Pantheon, so dead. So the dead. E. There's nothing he can do. No flash. No way to escape. They're just taking their time here. Eventually, there the it is. Q kill from Haywolf. 
So That's now Roseville is starting to get back to that lead like they yeah. had in that first this game. Dizzle's in Alcove. trouble. Dizzle's in, in trouble. The... Dizzle. <laughs> Been saying his name wrong. No, you're good. I mean, it's looks like Dizzy. Yeah, it, Dizzle 176. Yeah, Fiddle six trying to pull up to the bot lane. He's going to get bound. Gonna get damage going to get rooted. Going to be low. Nunu but, coming oh through. No. But here comes Mr. on the Nunu. Na, 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 na. He's gonna buy and take two tech's gonna flash now onto candlelight. No mana root down. Doesn't look like the kill here is but a little bit of a trigger still. happy flash. Rome for Yep. Yeah, Nunu, I mean that's that Rome potential that we're talking about. He can pick up so much speed rotating through river. Uh, in making big impact plays in both the top and bottom lane. And that's what we see Mr. Chair doing. Big Lux Ultimate comes Ooh, through to snipe out Seraphine. Down. Draco's going to get lane. ulted back. Gonna knock him out. Kind of saving his life there, but. No. Unless. Go. Looking for the kill on the champ. Unless. Down, and he's going to get okay, the kill. Okay, Draco's. There. All right. All that's right. a big, big it. kill to find. Big kill to find Absolutely. for the Shivana. So that's the thing that we were talking about in game one. They didn't have anywhere to kind of place their eggs. Now here, Shivana finding that 1v1 solo kill on a Poppy is big. There's some light still on the side of Albert Lee. Now how can they play off of that Shivana gold lead? I have to see. Still down CS though, so a little bit there. Pretty even though. The matchup. But the bot side right now for Roseville is... This is massively a they look top here. Yeah, We're bot side's down. looking nice. Big Lux damage. damage. Lux all, and he's going to go down. No. Lux is just absolutely nuking Rizzle. them. A whole Luden's Echo? Sure. Already got Luden's. Yep, eight minutes in. E landing. There's the binding. Izzle. Q. Autos. Oh, gosh. That's it's a, a crazy flash in for flash. Bacon. That was a crazy set Oh, he's going to go down. Uh, but it's an execute. <laughs> It's an execute. The only plus that, side. Nunu now pulling up on oh, digital. Oh, no, Nunu coming in. Big, Big ultimate. Doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it. Easy doesn't need it. Mr. Chair is crazy. Well. Yeah, he's... Oh, Trade there on top. Now they alt from fiddle. Point on to uh, Slinkies. And now he's going to flash over. He's gonna... What? It's tap. I mean, he tried, but a duck down there going I mean, down. this is just... And the new new. We're starting to see references text. of last Wanna game. It back. There's nothing he can... Poppy could take out Shabana. Very low on HP. Just going to barely but... get out, though. Oh, E there, yep. Hey, Wolf. Walking into the mid lane. Getting pushed out by the Pantheon and the Zeri. Zeri showing up mid lane now is a little bit interesting. For sure. Nunu's going to pull up to the party. Pushing. Senna going to make an coming up. He's well. going to land the snow. He's going to take blank. Out. He's going back into it, and he's okay, going to go right back though, down. The Nunu, oh, Nunu ult. Nunu ult, he didn't even Ooh, hit him. Didn't even he whiffed land. it. Mr. Chair, what's He that? whiffed it. Mr. Big Chair, ult. yeah. We wow. Come on. Expect come a little on. more out of he's you than that, but. Yeah, who's this guy, who's this guy again? What? Man. 15 to 2 now. Roseville really starting to ramp this one up. And I mean. Starting to see shades of last game now, Clay. Absolutely, your skip. Mr. Chair up massively. Bot lane. Rose yeah. up massively. Only kind of bright spot was top side there. Getting some kills there. TT Tex picked up a kill as well. But Dracos is down. So CS champ. A little bit too much there. We'll see now. Getting some bunch of plates here on bot side. Or it went down. It's the fastest center go down too. Both yeah. of those champions down in the bot lane going to be quite strong. Absolutely. Now trying to oh, three man the new new. I like They're this. Trying Mr. to go Chair. aggressive. Going to land the silence. Going to land some CC, but oh, big walk it damage. out. Yeah. Now, Mr. Chair's a little bit wild. He likes to try to turn it back when the odds don't look in his favor. Trying to look for Dizzle down in the river, and this could be and trouble. Down. Dizzle Ooh, walking go, a little bit too just far from walk home. Back onto him. I'm going to take him down. Haywolf now could punish. Really? Nunu looking at Chair. Dragon Pit. Dragon here, yeah. 
Shimano ulting in, in the top side, Stop trying to go for the one versus stunned. one. Trying to get some damage, but Poppy. This is good for Poppy, shield. though. This is good for Poppy, though. Yeah, he's wait, Draco's Draco's. under turret. Wait, wait, wait. It was That's looking good a... until, and then the Lux ult. Oh, the ult. Oh. Oof. That was almost a snipe. That was. Ooh, but wow, the double binding the bind. plans. Another E. And that's going to be Lux goes quick, huge, and huge Roseville kills. are starting to cement this one. We could be looking at a quick 2-0. Absolutely. We're just going to have to see if Albert Lee can maybe find some plays here. Got some items coming through now. Got some boots on EG Tax. But not sure what Mr. Chair is looking for there. Could be going for a 1v2. Definitely possible. Gonna snowball in, gonna land onto uh, Candlelight, try and get the E, he's gonna flash out, but the Root's gonna land now on the, gonna channel kill the ult, but it's not gonna land. Trying to fight on. Lane Aiden. Here. Aiden. not pretty squishy, gonna take some chunk. Could be trouble, take one more damage. could do it. Looks like he's gonna oh, get out, Sploinkies with the Lux. huge Root and the huge ult. Sploinkies oh, is absolutely goodness. just, just terrifying them. Mr. Nuking Chair, them with these on. Lux combos it's right now. Massive snowball, some E, some Q, some snowballs, and that rate's gonna take. Man, oh man, this is getting out of hand. We're reaching that marker. Yep. Twenty-three kills and counting. Pushing down mid lane. I do like the macro play from this Roseville squad. They do rotate around nicely. They support each other nicely. We've seen how many times they've baited in Albert Lee when they have a player low right into the perfect last moment and then Lux pulls up and lands some you know, ridiculous route like that. Pantheon goes down. And it's again, it's more team play and team fighting coming through from Roseville and more individual plays from Albert Lee. We're seeing them try to fight by themselves a lot when they need to try to fight as a team. It's really starting to hurt them. I mean, it's past starting Edge. to hurt them. It's 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 hurt them a lot. It, 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 they are yeah, they're being hurt right now. It's it's not going too well. Also, Magi is now under Mr. Chair, so a bunch of stacking there. Probably Poppy building this. Rod of Ages is crazy. I don't know yeah, these are. builds. These oh, are just... the snowball! This root is done. Snowball's coming down. Anyway. Okay, Seraphine in a one versus two caught right now, way out. Try to get the goodbye. Up. Man, I think even Rose is snowballing this game bigger than even Nunu snowballs can get. So wow, another one sending down snowball mid, again. Fiddlesticks ulties in. Out. Doesn't even matter. Back, get it. Nunu just heals up so much on each little Q chomp. Ah. Harold coming back up. Five minutes before Baron spawns into this one. Bill, probably going to be able to just secure it here. Mr. Chair might even just solo it. And they also got two dragons early, so definitely some uh, dragon stacking potential there. There's a lot of a lot of good macro here. A lot of objective control. Albert Lee does have objective bounties up though, so they can maybe secure a good team fight. They can uh, get some comeback gold off of that. Dude, now, Lux ooh, is big sniper. Lux binding. It's Another big Lux alt. Yeah, look at this damage. Blinkies is Bink. dominating this. Heal has to get out of dodge. New new snowball top side now, taking and them Dragos. apart one he's at a time. He's got Havelf with them too. Dragos just walking around, but he's gonna walk straight to his doom. <laughs> Poppy gonna down. take that one. Yeah. Ooh, big Seraphine ultimate big and Lux Seraphine ult, but it doesn't matter. Evaporate. GG Tex was there a little sooner. We could have seen the play. GG Tex now. For a bit of a 1v2, but I don't really think this is a fight he wants to take. Flashing out. Akon giving a little chase here. Will land the binding. Let's see if he can down here. The healing, but the 2v1. Splunkies. No way. Splunkies. Way too much 13, damage. 1 and 7. Yeah, he is taking it apart right now. Chair now. Shivana ulting in the top Big side. Ult. Poppy gonna go ahead and knock Shivana nope. way, way back. He's just Goodbye. gone. Chair, pulling over the mid. I mean, Roseville's putting on the closing closing uh, acts of this game, to be quite honest. So many towers taken, sure. six and counting. Lux it's just ult, literally and one it's just gonna take... them with that ultimate. That is craziness. <laughs> that is 
New new big ultimate. Frag guy jumping in. Big new ulti. New. Big Pantheon. Bang. Pantheon Goodbye. Full in. HP There's bar. Rinsed. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Albert Lee, I mean, you know, going up against one of the better teams in the league. So uh you hate to you hate to see it, but yeah. that's just the unfortunate truth. Uh, league is a very, very punishing game. It is not kind to newer players. So this is kind of just part of the learning curve and oh, the learning now process. Now TT Tech's going on to Bacon, but he's rooted Goodbye. and he's salted and he's Goodbye. gone. <laughs> Lux is, dude, deleting kids from Another the server. E. The wrist is... Senna ulti Senna ult. goes godlike. Inhibitor about to go Another down. Digital Krag is trying to go in here. Just, just flash out into a Luxie. Into... Oh, no. Oh, Q. no. The binding gonna miss. The Lux binding gonna hit onto Gregos though, but he'll be fine. But the inhibitor now, bot side going down, side of Albert Lee Roseville getting some super minions down there. Gonna just help them push. And Nunu's just yeah. taking uh, neutral objectives while Nasus is just pushing. That it's just so funny. What was that, man? <laughs> Lux ulti's on such a like short cooldown too, so it doesn't even matter. You can yeah. just chuck it out. The CC. There it is. Still Craig, I. Can't they even, combo it so can't well. Walk up. Yeah, I mean, my hat is off to this Roseville squad. They look uh, better than ever coming into their second season of League of Legends Finding here them. in MNBL. So and this is a squad blast. that everybody needs to mark and watch for. Oh, absolutely. They're definitely showing why they can be contenders. Or, I mean, even just like the state title. I don't want to say it early, but we're seeing some good plays here. Drago's going to ult out. He's just going to go down. Damage. Mr. Chair going in. Going to land the big ulti. That's a quick double kill. EG Tech's in the middle of it all. He's going to go down as well. Triple kill now for Mr. T Absolute clinic from Roseville. And he's suddenly back mid. Like, what? <laughs> that is crazy. The rotates are just on point. Nunu be moving. Yeah. 43 kills. 13 0 9. Nunu is just ridiculous. No deaths for Mr. Chair. No. Two deaths Why, for he... bot lane combined. Sploinkies is 17 kills. She's, yeah. Uh, 17 1 and 11. Sploinkies is going nuts. Yep. Well, now coming out from TG Tech. And he's just going to get Poppy ulted out. Yeah, see ya. Throwing down the hammer. Roseville's trying to throw down the hammer in this game. Now Mr. Chair coming in. Wow. And uh, the Digital Craig guy is going down. CC under Mr. Gregos. Chair and Poppy just going to take this. It doesn't even matter. But they're going to get it. Easy text. Snowball and back out. in. Fiddle six knocked Another up. snowball. W cancel. Big Hotline damage. showing up now here. Big ult on Charm on a two, but there's no way to follow up. Big Diesel's damage. On the side. He's just walking out. That's the Nexus Chair. turret's getting targeted. Go I mean, that's going to be the game. You got a triple already. You get some damage, but... Flashbacks to the Pentakill in base from Mr. Chair last game. Another Lux ult. I mean, here we're having it. Two kills. Sploinky is just dominating. Be. They can't leave the fountain. Almost reaching 50 kills again this game. Shout out to Roseville. Shout out to Albert Lee for stepping up onto the stream tonight and taking on a very, very challenging squad in Roseville. But Roseville showing that experience matters most and their time on the server really reigns supreme in our first best of three of our League of Legends season. What what do you what do you uh, got for me, Clay? What do you got for me? I think Roseville just welcomed us to their season, this season of yeah, League of Legends. They did it their That's way. That's not a bad take. New That's New not Mid, a bad take, sir. Nasus jungle there. They're showing that they got they got ways to win. They got different ways to win. They they don't they're not conformists here. You know the thing that the statistic that I'm just gonna say, okay, and this is gonna sound absurd, like I'm lying. But the kill count in those two games was 112 to 4, if I'm not mistaken. So that is that... insane <laughs> from Roseville, dude. I like that. that is... 
That's never happened before. It's ne- it's never happened. Oh, definitely before. not. Definitely it's never not. happened before. That is a historic performance that we just witnessed from Roseville. Uh, and it comes down to just raw team play. They played like a team. Albert Lee was really playing like individuals that kind of are trying to learn how, what it takes to play uh, as a team because it's not like – it's different from playing solo queue. You saw how much – Roseville was walking around together and in pairs. The only guy doing his own thing for the most part was Mr. Chair. And that's because he gets special privileges. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. other than that, then, Roseville was... looked like money. Even that Mr. Chair was roaming around to all the lanes on the new, new mid. He yep. was, but then he'd just go back and take uh, the entirety of Albert Lee's jungle and take all their True. resources. Mr. Chair was starving yeah. them out. True. All right, folks, that concludes our very first best of three of this season. We are working on getting an interview on hand from one of our Roseville players. So don't go anywhere. We're going to cut to a short break. But when we come back, potential Roseville winners. We'll catch you on the flip side. Here at Concordia St. Paul, you will have the opportunity to earn a degree, make lifelong friendships, and play a game you love on an esports scholarship. For more information, visit csp.edu slash esports. You know that moment when the world goes quiet? When the static in your ears and the skitter of your pulse fall away. And for a moment, you feel ready. More than that, you feel sure. At UW River Falls, we know the feeling well. Because when the world goes quiet and you step boldly into the moment, that's when you know you're a falcon. That's when you know you're limitless. Coming in and actually seeing all the computers filled with kids and they have on their jerseys and they got their coaches next to them and I see direct parallels over the football. There's just not a lot of knowledge about gamers out there. People just don't know what they don't know. 
they have to develop teamwork like any other physical game does. You don't have the teamwork, you don't win. You take a kid who never had confidence before and you give them confidence and you can see what they can do with their lives.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the closing acts of our stream. Before we get into this interview, I want to give a quick shout out to Undeniably Dairy, our main sponsor of the season. I want to give a quick thanks to everything that they have supported with us and made possible. Make sure you check out those socials in the chat commands or links below wherever they're at. But without further ado, let's welcome in our first interviewee of the season. It is Sploinkies joining us from the Roseville squad. How are we feeling after an amazing first win of the season, Sploinkies? Um, doing really good so far. Heck yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't imagine it'd be anything else after a win like that. Yeah. We need to try something different. For sure. I, I think Clay May and I have a couple of questions for you, and we're going to start it off, just take turns one at a time. Clay May will go first. All right. I was just going to ask, have you? is this like your first season, or like how, how long have you played for MNVL under uh, Rose, Roseville? This is my first year playing. I've never done this before. Awesome. And how long have you well, played for the Legends? Heck of an introduction. Um, I think I've been playing since 2019. Not bad. It's a few years now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My first question was how long have you and your counterpart in the bot lane been playing together? Cause you guys seemed like you had some really good synergy uh, of play time between the two of you. Um, just ever since the season started. Okay. So just like a few weeks about, yeah. right. Wow. Maybe a month, maybe a month and a half, give or take. All right. Well, that's cool. I mean, you guys are a, a deadly duo right. down there, so teams better keep their eyes peeled. Definitely. Uh, Clay May, yes. what else you got? I was just going to ask. I mean, you, you guys did fantastic in that second game, clearly were the, the carries of that. But I do just have to ask for a, more of a general team question. Whose idea was the Nunu mid and the Nasus jungle? Just um, interested. It was just their own idea i guess i did recommend the lux adc so i guess that sparked them to do their own picks as well nice all right yeah definitely got interesting in that second game champion select but sure. we saw interesting picks from the opposite side like the azir top lane so you know just a few interesting picks going down tonight uh i got one more question for you Splinkies. i want to know what are your guys' goals as team roseville for this season our goal is just to do better as a team, get to know each other, see how we work together. Just a bunch of friendly things, you know? For sure. For sure. And I'd hope you guys plan on making an appearance at State because, I mean, that was a statement win to start out your season. Uh, I want to say thank you for joining us on the caster desk. Normally at this time, we hand the mic back to you in case you have any shout outs for friends, teammates, family, whoever you got, uh, we want to give you this little bit of time on the mic for yourself, Splunky. So go ahead. You earned it. Thank you. You got anybody you want to shout out or no? Sorry. Um, I want to shout out my team because they are pretty chill. But this Nice. Chill team's a good team. Yeah. Man. So you guys, Maybe they're okay, just I'm going to ask one cheater question. One more question, just because you guys weren't going crazy being up that many kills, like, you know, freaking out in the comms. It was just chill. Nice and easy day at the office. Wait, could you repeat that? I'm so sorry. No, you're good. I said, so you said your team's chill, but like you guys just put up insane <laughs> numbers. You guys weren't going crazy in the comms or anything. Everybody was just chill. Yeah, we were just chilling in the chat. Dang. I would have been going crazy in there. I would have been screaming oh, my head sure. off. So props to you, Splunkies, for keeping the team chill. We are going to make sure we keep our eyes peeled on Roseville and you guys the rest of your season. I want to wish you good luck and your team moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. For sure. Well, I mean, that concludes series one of our day one of League of Legends. Clay May. How do you feel it went? Go ahead and give me your thoughts on your very first cast. Well, I mean, you said it was 112 hours. So, Roseville are showing that they yeah. know what's going. And if they're so chill like that, that's just... It's ridiculous. Just chill, I don't you know, believe win. it. I, I don't believe it, it. I don't believe it. 
112 to four and we're just chill. Like it's, it's madness. It's a, it's a new era of players, man. They're ice in the beans. They're having a good time. They're keeping it chill. They're working on team play. Uh, folks, thank all of you for coming out and watching our broadcast tonight. Clay May, thank you for stepping up and casting with me. It was an awesome first cast excited for how this season is going to treat us. Uh, games are going to get better. You know, every week the games get more and more competitive. Folks, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thanks to the production team behind the scenes. And uh, thank our admins as well. We will see all of you guys back here for Valorant Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, We'll see you guys live at 5. Peace out.